So we've made it to the final part modeling exercise and I'm hoping that a lot of you are sitting there thinking how good is this, this isn't actually that hard. Uh, and honestly I don't think it gets much worse than the previous video. Uh, question 6 you'd expect might be a little bit more difficult and it does use some different features but once you're aware of, uh, once you know how to use them it's really not too much of a step up. Uh, so all we essentially have to do is create this cut on the inside of the part so a hollow out section and you may be tempted to use the hollowing out section uh, the hollowing out tool in SolidWorks but personally I don't do that I'll show you how I I will approach this question okay so we'll return to SolidWorks now and uh, just for completion I'll create a new design table but you might be thinking going back to question 4 and question three, that these shouldn't contain the cut extrudes that we created in question five. And to help fix this, it's really, really straightforward. Return to the feature manager design tree. Uh, highlight the cut extrudes that we added. So I'm using shift and then clicking again. Right clicking and then go into the configure, ma uh, configure feature tool. Uh, I'll ignore that. And then I'm gonna extru uh, suppress some features for question three and four. So now when I press OK and return to my to my different configurations, now they actually are the ones that we had in question three and four. So it wasn't actually that hard at all. That's probably a good thing to be aware of. Uh, for completion, I will right click on design table, edit table, and add in my question 6 configuration Come on. my question 6 configuration and they actually are the same as the one above okay, 44 so hopefully you've put that in and then once you return it'll say you got a new configuration hooray and now now question 5 and question 6 uh, the do configuration should be essentially the same, but we'll work from question six and then fix up question five afterwards. Okay. So we don't need to create a, a new plane or anything because we're sketched. The contour is on the outside, uh, uh, is on this face here. So we can use that sketch. New sketch doesn't orientate me. That's where it used to. Okay. So now we can, instead of using convert entities, I'm going to use offset entities. And this will create a line that's, if you see here, a set distance away from the line that we're choosing. So now it's one millimeter and I'll reverse, reverse it. And this is starting to create these lines on the outside. Uh, if I want to do more, Okay, it'll let me, so that's good. Good. I can go all the way around. It's pretty cool. Around. Great, so that's my first contour. And now I also want to do, and this might be the tricky part, I'm going to swing it around, use offset entities again, select this line from the curve, Yes, it's offsetting in the right way. And this will create uh, this distance here, this offset, so that there is some sort of thickness to the slope here. It can't be infinitesimally thin. So I'm going to click offset OK. Yes, I might have to tr do a bit of trimming, a bit of tidying up, so I'll go to trim entities and do my little click drag clicks click drag releases yeah yeah great and now my sketch is fully defined that was pretty quick and I can exit my sketch now I want to do similar to what I did in question 5 early on was extruded cuts from the same sketch so I go to my extruded cut 
I can select uh, either contour. My first contour will go, excuse me, will go one millimeter from the far wall. So how I'm going to do that is I can go uh, offset from surface, select my surface, my distance is one millimeter, and yeah, so the offset's in the correct direction, you can see by the yellow. So that should work, yeah, look at us go, so that's created the first hollow out section. And now if I open that up, sketch up again, and I can go extruded cut again, select my new contour, this time it goes 12 millimeters from the other, the far wall, so that's again using offset from surface, whoa, whoa, doesn't like me. I'll try that again. Sketch, should it cut, offset from surface, swing around, choose that surface, and it should be 12 mil. 12 mil, yep. Yeah. Have I selected my contour yet? My selected contour is this one. Great. Sorry, that's probably a lot messier than I had to do it, but just to reiterate, I selected an offset from surface, I did it from the far wall, 12 millimeters, checked that it was in the right direction, and selected the contour that, the appropriate contour. So now when I click tick, I'll have my hollowed out section. So I used, I completed the hollow out section using uh, offsets and extruded cuts. I imagine there'd be another way to do it, but this works uh, perfectly for me. And just to make sure that it's perfect, let's uh, check our answers. Uh, so I'll go up, up, tools, mass properties, and our mass is 432.58 grams. Uh, I'm going to look like a little silly if this doesn't, if this isn't the right answer. Scroll, scroll, scroll. 432.58 grams. So there you go. Pretty relieved. Put that back. 132.58 grams. Yeah. So just for the sake of completion, I'll just quickly fix up our previous configurations. So looking back on it now, now our question five our question 4, no our question 4 and our question 3 are fine but our question 5's configuration needs to change so to do that I'll return to question 6 I will go down to that final two extrude, cut extrudes highlight them, configure features didn't like it so these should be suppressed in question 3, question 4, question 5 and left in question 6 so now when I return, I can see all my answers sitting there nicely, waiting for me to double check them when I finish all the other questions of the exam. So again, design tables, neat way of doing it. I like it as a good check. Don't have to do it, but it's yeah, just a nice little extra thing that you might be able to take away from this video. Uh, I hope that helped with the part modeling exercises and uh, follow the next few videos and we'll see how we can approach the assembly modeling exercises. Thanks.